Hello, my friend. My name is Rosalia, but my American customer call me Rosa. And I start my lessons about sewing, tailoring, alteration, pattern maker. I do work with many, many designers and stylists for work magazine, for any kind advertisement, for everything. I'm sorry about my English. I came here, I was 50 years old, and I has no time for learn my English. I learn from my customer. But my hand, my mind, I know everything how to create nice, beautiful, very expensive clothes. Because I start new life in USA when I was 50, I told about that. And I has no time for make some pocket boots, some pillowcases. I make money because I have to start new life and I did good. And I'm sure everybody who coming to my lessons will be good too. Because I explain everything how become to be favorite tailor and make custom tailoring, make pattern, do alteration and make a lot of money, how make big system and how invite a lot of good tailor and see quality because you have to know quality about work and talk to your tailor who is working in your workshop doing quality. And today my first lesson and I do a lot of free lessons. Welcome to my website and tell me everything what is good, what is not good. And I'm going to change and I would like to be better and better. Thank you very much for your patience. I start about dress pleating. Two days ago, my customer came. She is petite. If you would like to know more about all different kind figure, about sizes, money, and how it's changing, UK, England, Rome, Italy, and USA. You have to buy Tim Gong's book and see about everything about style. He is doing runway show, you know about him, and I have very good library. I do reading, but I speak not so well, but I think it's okay. Thank you very much for your patience. I start new less. My customer came, I told, she is petite. And her dress is for tall lady. And number one, we're doing fitting. And fitting have to be all undergarment. What is going to wear when she's going to wear this dress? She put this dress and I check around because Taylor need to have very good eyes and see every small bubble, every not even shoulder, every not even hem. I check everything. And I saw front is perfectly good because she has big bust. But back is was terrible. It has big bubbles here. No bust, bubble wells here. And this is came because she has short back. And all this extra fabric make big bubbles here. I take pin and I just pin it and I by pin I make flat back after I put my mannequin three four yards from myself I sit to the floor and I ask her turn around and I have to see how even hem will be on her dress everything was perfectly even if it's not even you have to take a pin and pin it longest places on her skirt from this dress and make even and as her couple times turn around and you have to check and you have to be sure now hem of the dress is even next step we have to make decision customer make decision but we help her how short she would like her dress looks like when dress is even, we don't have to pin it all dress around the hem. We just make small pieces on the side and little bit on the front. We pin it and she likes this because dress is even. And from the small pieces, we can continue and make shorter. My friend, 
if you have wish become to be a famous designer, you have to know exactly how to do alteration. When you have alteration business and wealthy area, and your customer is very good people who know exactly what is mean good designer, good clothes, and bring to you, and you have to open it, and you see everything inside and you start work with this everything and your experience will be endless never will be done and it's very very important for everybody know exactly high quality of work luxury work couture work and when you will be very successful and you're going to have very big workshop and you knew exactly what you're looking from your tailor, from your pattern maker, because you knew exactly what is mean good quality work. Today I explain for you a little thing how to make shorter uh, dress, pleated dress with pleated skirt from tall woman to petite. And I'm going to make thousands of lessons. I do work with fur, with leather, with wedding dresses, gown, I did work in Pinefield Bridal. I did so many work, 50 years. And welcome to my workshop. Ask me any question and I'm going to explain you because I know everything. I am very confident in my work and what I do. And now it's time for share with everybody. And I will be very, very happy if my lesson help for somebody do life better thank you very much welcome to my website on the end of this movie i'm going to show my website and a yelp pages you could go and read about me see my portfolio my work what i did i do everything and i'm so glad glad and i learn every day something new with new clothes, what's bring to my customer, with new figure, what is coming, I not scary, five extra large, petite, small, people who have big difference between shoulder, with, with everything, men's, women, for kids, doesn't matter for me. Welcome to my workshop, welcome to my website, welcome to my lessons. I am very open. We have to do, we have to measure. We have three and a half inches. Three and a half inches, this is skirt have to be short. And we have to measure three and a half inches from line when the skirt was cut. And we use trick marker. It will be disappear in 24 hours. But anyway, try to make not big mess. And we have to make just dots. I did already. This is dots. And half inches is going to the top. It's seam allowance and make small dots, not just make line. It's your pen is working longer time and also it will be not so big mess. And after you have to make seam, hold it by two hands and make seam seam size four and i did already and after we have to measure we have original waistline it's 15 inches half and 30 inches all around and we have to measure our seam it's 16 inches it's meant two inches each side one inch and one inch we have bigger waist line and we have to pull it bottom seam it's always more flexible and make smaller pull it one inch one side and hold it the seam and make all pleats even all fabric have to be even oh it's broke already it's no big problem you don't have to redo it from the beginning just just small pieces you have to redo it 
great. The same we're doing from the other side, pulling bottom seam, under seam for one inch and compare from the dress what is was on the top and make pleats nice and smooth, all extra fabric have to go nice and smooth, all pleats have to be very nice, very beautiful, not going one side to another. Okay, and we're going to measure waistband new. Yes, we got 30 inches. Great. And seam allowance. It was half inches. You have to take pen and mark. When you work in couple years and one day you don't have to use a ruler and your eyes is will be very, very nice about measurement, about everything. But when you just start work, you have to do this everything nice and easy. After buy marks, darts, what I did, and three and a half inches from the top, we make seam on machine. When you're doing seam, you have to hold it from both sides and prevent movement of pleats. When the seam is done, you have to measure waist line on this seam and compare with seam how much it was on the top. If you have to squeeze some fabric, You have to pull it bottom thread and pull it and make everything nice and smooth and even. After we move this skirt and we start work with top. On the top, we have front of the top, front of the top, have some waistband it was con uh, sewed together because we did no any altering on this area and we have pins this is pins how much fabric we have to left up the skirt this is pins showing for us line of connection top and skirt What we have to do now, next step, we have to cut off all extra fabric, what is was here. And don't forget about seam allowance and this area because pins showing the level when it's have to be seam connected skirt with the top and put together both sides of the waistband and just pin it together because seam allowance is already showing in your waistband and you have to unpin it what you have put together one level second level and dressed up between two levels of waistband just pin it together and hold together some tailor doing before waistband from the bottom, inseam, and after make on the top. If you learn from the beginning how you can save the time and do work faster and cleaner and save thread and your time. 
stress it's not very expensive but time it's very very expensive you can make more and more money i told you i made my way how we can make custom made dresses and this is more easy way because in production company who made this is beautiful dresses nobody doing it's every everybody's work very very fast everybody knew exactly her operation what she have to do when she make dresses and work was perfectly done and nobody spent too much time for make something nice and beautiful And now we're just going to sew together and that's it okay one more time we did cut all extra fabric and I put three slices two slices of waistband and one slice of top self lace from the top and mark on the waistband show me exactly seam allowance how it's got to be because we follow all designer instruction how this dress was look like and we're doing the same but we left up the back of the top and we left up the skirt make shorter skirt You see how much time I save it now we're going to press we're going to iron it a little bit and after we're going to connect skirt with a waist band from the top a waist band we can press it after it's no problem because i saw on the waistband it was covered okay let's put together this is top this is center of back we're going to see left side and right side have exactly a good connection i added small pieces on the back because I saw in my customer this is, was too tight. I would like to make a little bit more comfortable for her. Make a room for eat and drink and enjoy her vacation. Center back, going to here to center top. And we have to go inside of this skirt and remove all pins. We don't need this is make damage to the fabric when we start work and put everything together here and going from one side to another side and we start working from face no pulling no peanut quick how it's possible we just have the measurement we squeeze the pleats exactly the same size how it was on waistband we did good you see it's exactly even came even here even here beautiful work do i have to squeeze put pins and do something nothing we have half inches here for seam allowance we have half inches here on waistband and we measure it's exactly the same amount and we're going to do sewing from one side to another and six half inches of seam allowance coming exactly here and we're doing sewing from one side to another side 
next operation it will be connection skirt pleats with lower seam of the waistband and we have to measure from one side of the zipper to another side all around and I see everything is perfectly good best way how we have to connect the waistband with skirt it will be a do sewing with seam allowance 0 0.5 inches half inches and in old seam we see how it works and we're doing sewing together without any pins and we save a lot of time for do that because I told this is a way how make custom made but production way when a couple of people sitting and doing his operation for make some dresses his band, and this is allowed for production company make lots of lots of pieces and speed is so high and quality is so good because 12 people can make one dress and everybody doing his operation and it's it's best way how we can make your production company can make a lot of pieces for one day with good quality don't have to like for custom made tailor um, do everything from the start to end everything doing one tailor okay now what we got now we have now we have two pieces on the top we have double side covered waistband and on the bottom we have in seam inside we have not have any seam it's open it it's still open it but on the face it's everything completely finish it let's open the zipper and turn your work to the face you see looks nice and beautiful everything this is part I like it quality control this is part I like it this is part small pieces it's damaged it came out we have to fix it this before we cover it and close this everything and this is side this looks more beautiful just one pieces we have the open seam we're going inside this is one pleat was pull it out and make not beautiful it was damaged next operation what we have to do we're going to iron station i use high steam italian iron and board this is really the best what everybody can have in his workshop it's make big seam it's very light it's not heavy and also it's iron on the board when you're doing with leather it will be very good it will be a hot temperature from both sides number one what we have to do from inside we're going to make pleats nice and beautiful and hold it with something heavy for this i use my sponge hole maker for pattern and after we're going to with light steam steam it from the top to the bottom and try to remove and make all fabric 
nice and beautiful and when it's after steam is very hot we start to use fan for cool off and this is allowed for us peanut everything and pins never make markers when it's warm fabric it's very easy can make deeply markers from the pin it will be removed very very difficult but when you cool off it will be much better follow me do what i do and you're going to make good quality work remove to another pieces going to the side number one we're going to fix it pleats nice and easy one by another pull it a little bit one more because steam can damage it pleats and pleats have to be exactly right folded and after we pull it bottom or waistband from inside and we steam we're going to steam it from the top to the bottom hold it with your left hand cool it pin it and all around the dress on the waistband you have to do this work you see how pleats beautiful Pleats are very beautiful. Put together nice pleats, one by another, and fold it because fabric is heavy and very easy to slide down, and we have to hold it with something heavy. And after pull it inside pieces of waistband press it from the top to the bottom cool it with fan and now when this fabric is cool pin it it's very easy when you see how work tailor with many many years experience it will be very easy for you repeat and do this kind of work okay now we have our item in this condition it's uh, have two seam and steam it and you see how pleats look so beautiful and comfortable everything is nice and beautiful okay and now we have to use right side foot one side and have hole on the right side and we change the foot And we can make sewing from one side to another side. Don't have to make from the front to the back and from another side to the back. Okay, we have to make connection inside lower side of waistband with top. And this is pins hold it everything in the right position this one side foot allowed for us do very clean work and this is work we have to do exactly on the seam on level between waistband and pleats one side foot with hole on the right side we have to put in position between waistband how many layers of fabric we have in this waistband two layers from the top two layers from the bottom and three layers from the pleats 
It's seven layers. It's made thickness of fabric here. And this is foot, one side foot. It's, um, it's like ruler now and have good position. It's not going, you don't have to pull it by your hand, right and left. You have to just slowly put in pedal for start work machine and just little bit keep it pleats nice and smooth and put nice beautiful seam this is seam going to connect going to close inside waistband and nobody see this backstitch and close everything when we're going to press it one more time after you move this we're going to check quality how this seam was performing In some places seem nice and beautiful just on the edge and in some place not so good. And you have two ways for fixing this problem. First way I just pull in a little bit more down and I'm going to redo it this seam from the top. This is, will be easier. Another way, you can fix it everything by hand. But today I have no time to do that because my customer coming in one hour. I have to finish it, zipper work and... Let's see. Now it's perfectly good. It's hold it nice and beautiful. And we have to remove this everything, press it, put in mannequin, remove all threads, clean up everything, and fix it zipper. About zipper, I'm going to explain you next time. In special lesson, when I'm going to explain everything about zipper. Zipper, mad zipper, because so many tailors have problem with zippers. And you see this is seam is so nice and beautiful and in some places it's not even ages but it's okay more important this front face it's everything nice and beautiful we're going to press it and use this as my heavy sponge and when I press it I am going to move a little bit and I, this is extra fabric covered this seam. It will be so beautiful, clean work. Thank you. Welcome to my workshop. And when I'm going to explain everything, how we have to sew zipper and do everything bias and everything with zipper. Thank you. For any details here, really not see it. It was altered, it was ripped, it, everything it was separated up from bottom. But for proof, I did cut this dress. I put this small pieces, what I cut at three and a half inches on the top. And some teacher, some tell I do alteration and I don't need any form, any mannequin in my workshop. And maybe you start do your work without mannequin and do fitting on your customer. But slowly, slowly you have to buy this mannequin and you have this form and different sizes. You can make any design, you can make draping, you can make a lot of different things. You could see how it's working, different kind of fabric, how it's worked together, make some design. If you think big, you have to do big and you're going to see exactly how it fits on your body 
and before you see from another side you could put elbow of this fabric to your form and see how it's worked exactly I ask all my follower if you have any question just ask me and I can explain you don't be scary take and start work just never sit up very tight time for do your work if you're not confident if you're not sure how to do that take more time tell for your customer i am very busy if you would like i do for you but i need two three weeks please and for this time you can ask me i'm going to explain you what you have to do and you have time to do perfect work and never make feel bad if you're doing something long and you not make enough money you have to know every another pieces what you're doing it will be faster is uh, will be better and you're going to make more and more money and it's confident coming with your experience i just wish successful work for everybody and write for me ask me question i will be happy for everybody do um, share with my experience and help for everybody thank you guys welcome to my website welcome to my pages ask me question i will be happy if i can help for somebody